Right then guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to all four cards match. Cards match. Um, you do need to make sure this is a full and proper deck. All you're going to do is get your spectator to shuffle. When they're done shuffling, you'll take the cards back, holding them like this. But you won't traditionally go from the bottom, you'll go from the top. So as you take the cards back, you're going to note the top card and the spelling of the card. There are only three different ways to spell a card. Three, four or five letters. Um, a four is spelled with four letters, so you're just going to count off four cards. The four being the top card. Place it on the table. Say, I don't want any of those. We're going to go through. You're going to look for your next four. All the while it's like this to a spectator. And you're just going to say, look, I'm just going to look for a card. Make a prediction. You do need to find the next four, wherever that may be. When you find it, you're going to place this four on top of this four. The next four you will have is your prediction. So you're going to go through, look for the next four. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to use this card here. Just make sure you're going to find the next four. Wherever the next four is, all the cards below it go on top. And then you put this on the top of that. So you'll be in a position where you've got a four on top. A four in the fourth position and then a four directly after that. We'll go through that again. Give them a shuffle. Right. But to the spectator, they will see this, obviously. But you're going to go through. It's a five, spelt with four letters. So you're going to put four cards on the table. You're now going to go through. So look, I'm going to look for a card. Don't want any of those first ones. Find the next five. Cut it at that five. Place it on the top. None of those. Keep going through. When you find the next five, you know what? I might keep this card. Put it aside. You can ditch all those cards. You're just going to look for your next five now. If you haven't found it yet, you can ditch these cards. It doesn't matter at this point. But when you find the next five, don't want any of those. Oh, don't want any of those. When you find the, the last five, it must be on the top of the packet and then place this on top. So you've got a five. Four cards down, you've got a five and then another five. You'll then get your spec or your deal the cards down. When you get past the five, you can just say, look, just call out stop any time you like. And so they call out stop right here. Turn the packets over. You're going to force the packet that you had in your hand because the five is on top of this packet. You're going to get them to point to a packet. If they point to this packet, put it aside. Say, right, we'll use this one. If they point to this packet, brilliant. Just turn over the top card. It's a five. All we'll do is spell out five. F-I-V-E. And you'll land on another five. <clears throat> quite weird actually because at the start of the trick I made a prediction and I took out a five and wouldn't you know it the final card you find in your hand is a five so that's how you do it guys it's just um, placing a, a certain cards in a certain sequence in the deck and uh, yeah it can be a bit fumbly when you're going through the cards like this and there might be a position when you've got let's say you've got two jacks two of the same card um you could say something like oh i might take i might use that one go through put jack put four cards down and then say you know what i'm not happy with that i'll put it back in here and then just go back through find another jack there we go right next jack oh i might have that card actually um, I don't want any of those. No, I'm happy with that one. So there is a way around it if you've got cards together. So uh, enjoy the start to your week because I'm going to hate mine. Cheers.